Good morning, European traders and fans of Privateer FX. It feels like we were just we just left our desk, finished up late last night around 11. Uh, as usual, the second move on FOMC uh, was the important one. So let's dig right into it. Uh, I think some important things are happening. We mentioned earlier in the day yesterday that uh, Euro Yen was changing trend. Uh, so we want to be uh, core short Euro Yen, uh, core short uh, CAD Yen. I hate to be Harry Hindsight. We sold last night at through 90. Um, this, uh, with the NAFTA news, looks like it has some has some room to go. Obviously, the chart uh, has some room to go. You can just sell any rally in, in CAD Yen today. Uh, I don't think we're going to see 80, uh, so maybe 60s and 70s. If you want to be conservative, sell 68s and 88s. Um, your stop's above uh, 87.25. But Cad Yen looks very, very compelling. Strong story. Trump kicks Canada in the balls. Um, oil turns, and the entire Yen complex looks like it's had, looks like it's turned. As you can see, Dollar Yen broke this trend line. Um, now we've printed a lower low today, 62. Uh, it's not falling out of bed, obviously, because, you know, we have U.S. rates, U.S. yield is uh, probably around 310. Oh, no, 305. So we were at 311 yesterday, now we're at 305. But this looks like a turn, bearish engulfing. Um, so you want to sell this uh, up to 90, 112.90, and then you cut you know, above 113. If we're wrong, Euro Yen, same business, bearish engulfing. We haven't had the confirmation of bearish engulfing yet, which is 327. Uh, who wants to bet a nickel? There'll be a few CTAs banging them out. Uh, 132.27 today. Anyway, we're already short. Uh, core short seems to be the way. 67 the high overnight. I would say the Euro Yen is a tradable short because there's a lot of uh, conflicting pulling and pushing on the Euro Dollar right now. Um, but uh, core short is the way. Get some sort of shorts on. Ideally, uh, Euro Dollar breaks this idiotic low that we've been all waiting for for now three days. 117.26 the low yesterday. Uh, and now it's just a break trade, you know, just, just smash them out through 26 and see if there's stops down to the figure. Um, and if this does attract at the European Open, which it looks like it might, your yen also will go lower. Uh, the one yen cross which has been lagging is Aussie yen. Um, Nice turn bar uh, there, big long, big long leg, wick, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we've been talking about this level for a while, so everybody knows. Uh, we're looking at 81.60. Um, pivot, two, three, three lows on the 240 bar. The low so far, 71. Fits into our, our, our grander plan for the next two days, which is just to buy a basket of yen, Aussie yen, CAD yen, Euro yen, not sterling yen. Sterling yen is just in the middle of nowhere and it's just done diddly shit. So, sterling yen really doesn't get bearish for another 116 points. So, I don't know what to do with sterling yen. I've kind of given up on sterling as a currency pair just for the time being. I've been so right on direction and I've made so little money, it's uh, time to time to step back and see see what the hell is going wrong. 
finally, uh, oh, two things. S and P's. That was a doozy. We smashed them through 18 last night uh, on that last hour. Again, bearish engulfing. You, you know, conf you know, if you wanna, if you wanna be religious about your charting, you want confirmation today, which we haven't had yet. 2908. You want to add to shorts if you see uh, prices through there. I don't know, bearish engulfing uh, 15 handles from the all-time highs. Uh, could this uh, be the number that we're looking for? We've seen it before. Saw it over here on August 30th. Uh, but to be fair, that did yield uh, 50 handles. So. This looks like it has some, some room to go. Um, and then finally, Dollar Rand, our old friend. Doesn't make any sense. But we're coming into this 1395, 1405 support. What doesn't make any sense is this big red bar. It doesn't make any sense. I don't understand what the hell's going on with that. But if we head into this big risk off session and if Euro dollar breaks $25, Rand uh, should have some upside. Obviously, you want to be careful with this death knock now at, at uh, 23. You saw this is the top of this bar yesterday. I have a feeling they're going to they're gonna be buying dollar Rand at the open today. Most European traders are going to look at all the risk metrics and say, wait a minute, rates are higher in the U.S., equities got hammered, uh, we should probably sell some, some, some emerging markets. Anyway, food for thought, the main focus is yen, uh, euro yen, dollar yen, cad yen, we will be starting uh, our Aussie yen shorts through 60. Good luck out there, people. Let's make some money today. Ciao.